I say I like the. It is. It's a different, different version. I think they darken the shade of gray on it. I mean, it, it looks slick. Whether it works or not. Suppose Evan said that they made a lot of changes. Oh, yeah, this one should actually be good. Yeah. But yeah, it looks looks slick. They made a lot of changes to it. Yeah. No, I mean it's like the size of what? The that grid boss thing that you got. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just what's, uh, what's your, your lineup for 2026? Basically this, we went from our Gen 1, I don't know if you guys see that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we get them every time. I know. Nice. Yeah, so that basically from our Gen 1 to this is a big upgrade from output and capacity. So the inverter, this is the inverter right here, batteries. So this is 20 kilowatt hours in batteries, five kilowatt hours per battery. The, in, the inverter is now 11.5 kW, which was 7.6 before. So essentially, you know, everything is going to whole home backup. Everybody wants mm -hmm. to have whole home backup consistently. Just making it more easy for tying in to that scenario. This actually is what our calm light is now. So before on Gen 1, we had a, uh, a calm light box as an additional box that didn't do backup, but it was for energy arbitrage. Now we don't have that. That's actually built into the inverter. So you just need the stack. It's a one less piece, a little bit less labor. Um, also, we moved the DC disconnects to the outside, which I really like because that was always a pain. I hated yeah, it. Yeah, you had to go inside yes, and open I, everything up. And then trying to, keep, keep, to have somebody explain that to somebody was that's not technical. That was a pain, yes, yeah. very much. So um, another big thing that we added is the expansion kit so that this will be a base that allows you to add more capacity. So before, this is one inverter. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, I didn't even notice yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. So and it'll actually change a little bit. That'll be all covered. This is more just to show you guys like how it's tied in, really. Yeah. So this will actually be uh, look a little bit better on the base. But this is actually just one inverter and eight batteries. So it's a big upgrade in capacity for output. Okay. That, so that's a big help right there. Obviously, we could still do three inverters to a gateway, so you can get up 120 kilowatt hours in battery storage, and then up to, uh, what is that, 34, 34 kW in output. Because wasn't the Gen 1 version limited to like five batteries in a stack per inverter? It was six per six. inverter, and then you could parallel inverters, but obviously there's issues with that. So yeah. this really, you can expand quite a bit on this. Very nice. So yeah, it's a lot of big upgrades. They really listen to, you know, what people said that what they would like so it's been a big help for us at least on the support side i work support so okay i appreciate it <laughs> oh yeah yeah definitely if you, you have to be the one to make it work yeah i know so. it's yeah exactly so it's a big help they added a lot of features we added a black start button you can you can kind of see it's right here it's a little green button essentially we'll use like a res the reserve of the battery there's a breaker that that ties to and okay. if there's a reserve so we obviously have a hidden reserve like usual but if they have at least one percent they can hit that button and it'll close the breaker and then utilize the reserve to kick on the system again oh so that's nice yeah that's a big help big so um also to the gateways changed quite a bit yeah, it does look like you guys changed the color scheme a little bit. Is yeah, it darker? everything. Yeah, so the, uh, right now I can open this actually. Right, we went from so before we didn't have service engine traded. Now we're service engine traded. So you can add a breaker. It's optional. You don't always have to do that. It's an okay. ad additional 200 amp breaker. We moved from the DIN rail. We used to have a DIN rail. I don't know if you knew that. So on the mm -hmm. previous one, we had a DIN rail, which you know that those breakers are even just harder to supply for people. People can get those at, at yeah, easily you can't get access. them any place. Exactly. So if they don't purchase it or weren't paying attention or it gets missed, you know, it costs a lot of leak time and uh, money just to go and purchase a breaker to finish an install, which is nuts. So now we have um, our bus right here. You can get regular QB or QR breakers like uh, Square D, any of like anything you can get at Home Depot essentially. Um, we have our non-backup load port, so you can tie in uh, up to 125 amp uh, non-backup uh, panel. So that, and again, that's more so you can everything be whole home. You have a lot of option to load shed. We also have um, the ability for smart breakers. So uh, yeah, which and on the other side actually, we can I can show you all. They have one running. 
just to show it's like powering a little fan. It's all controlled through the app. It's really sweet. So it's really good for load management, like even remotely. If they're, they'll get a notification, oh, you're overloading, reduce load. They can kill load remotely, still have power, and they get back. If they don't, they now you have a data point for, hey, y'all didn't turn off your power in time. Right. And they have the black start button to recover it. And that's less complaints and back and forth with homeowners, which again helps me quite a bit. So. <laughs> Any other questions? Is this available now? Uh, it's, I believe uh, November. They said correctly. When, when was this available in November? Uh, in which state? Yeah, I guess it depends on which state. Depends on the region. Yeah. The first launch in Texas and Florida. Oh, well, there you go, Texas. <laughs> yeah, for the UL listings, I believe it's harder, you know, in um, California, so they have more requirements. So we're able to get in Texas stuff quicker. Okay. Yeah. Our lift shows up in four minutes. Oh, man, we nailed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs>